In Genesis 1, verses 6 through 8, it says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. In our Bible Discovery Adventures 1 and 2, we discovered that God created the heavens. But in this adventure, we see that he also created a firmament, or vault, and he called the firmament heaven. Do you find it interesting that God created the heavens, then he created a firmament, and called it heaven? Let's dig a little deeper for a discovery. What do you say? The Bible says that God created a firmament to divide waters from waters. According to some Bible scholars, the earth was apparently covered in water and surrounded by vapor, which we know as clouds. God created the firmament to become the space, or sky, between the waters. After the separation, the waters above the earth provided a protective greenhouse over the earth. The space between the water-covered earth and the clouds is the space, or firmament, God called heaven. Let me give you the exact definition of firmament. Are you ready? Firmament is heaven or sky and expanse, the space between the stars and the planets. By using the definition of firmament, we can better understand the difference between the heavens and heaven. The heavens are the firmaments, or the skies or expanses, between the stars and the planets all throughout the universe. Let's take a look at the definition of expanse. An uninterrupted space or area, a wide extent to anything, something that is spread out, especially over a relatively large area. Have you ever wondered what happens when someone passes away? I believe their body is buried, cremated, and their spirit goes to the current heaven. The Bible tells us the spirits of the people who believe in Jesus depart when they pass from this earth. You'll find that in Psalm 146, verse 4. Did you know that God promised to create a new heaven? An awesome place where we can live with God for eternity if we've accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. How cool is that? The new heaven, for sure, is filled with God's glory. There will be no more crying, no more sorrow, no more death, and no more pain, because the former things will have all passed away. That you'll find in Revelation 21. When God created the first heaven, He created a place that is perfect, joyous, and peaceful, and beyond our comprehension because of sin. Oftentimes we wonder why bad things happen on this earth to people who believe in God. Earth, as we know it now, is full of sin, fear, death, disasters, and evil. But great news, God is with us to help us through every situation every day. No matter how big or how small the problem may seem to us, God is right beside us to guide us through. God doesn't always just make the problem stop. More often than not, He leads us through the problems. And by going through them, we learn valuable lessons here on earth. These valuable lessons help us share God with others going through the same kinds of trials. Sometimes we tend to focus on just the bad things on this earth. Rest assured, God did not make these things happen. It's the sin of this world that has brought about the disasters and catastrophes. But did you know that God promised not only a new heaven, but also a new earth? Let that sink in. So yeah, there's really going to be not only a new heaven, but also a new earth. When I stop and think about it, I imagine being able to snowboard without falling or getting frostbite. I imagine being able to surf and not have to even think about sharks. 
I imagine camping out without mosquitoes. And then I imagine hiking mountains without the fear of falling over the edge. And whether those things are there or not, I'm sure whatever God has for us on the new earth, it will be amazing. And that wraps up our third Bible discovery adventure in our creation series. It's time to talk to God, so say the following prayer out loud to God. He will listen, I guarantee. Dear God, thank you for creating heaven. Living forever in heaven with you is what I want to do. I am willing to change my ways to your ways. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me for my sins. Thank you for opening my heart to follow Jesus so that I may live forever with you in heaven. Amen.